train. Hey guys, Carla with Carla's Clever Crafts. Uh, tonight we're going to be working on a spring slash Easter design and we're going to use this cute camper as our sign for our wreath. Um, our primary colors are going to be uh, blue and pink and green. I'm going to first try to get my comments to load and see because I've had some issues with my camera angle recently so I want to try to be able to see if it is accurate. Okay, so we're going to be working on a 14 inch wire frame from the Dollar Tree. Um, it's in the floral garden section. This one is silver. They do have them in silver, gold, and black. Um, the, the design that I plan on doing this is like a light purple, so I thought that the silver would be better than the black. So I'm going to first show you how to wire this frame with the pipe cleaners. Now this is not for our design tonight. This is for a design probably tomorrow. Um, but I was going to use it for an example. Your uh, frame has four rings all the way around. And then in between each of these two crossbars is considered a section. And so these frames have six different sections. You're going to wire each section one at a time. And to start with, we're going to go on these inside two rings, slide our pipe cleaner underneath of it, pull it up even. And what we're doing is we're trying to center right between the two crossbars as close as we can. Pull it tight and knot it, twist it together over top of this inside ring. Then we just push that to the inside out of our way so we can put the rest of our pipe cleaners on. Now we're going to come to the outside two rings and we're going to center between this one that we just put in and this crossbar. So wrap around the outside two rings, center it the best you can and line up your ends and then twist. Make sure you pull these tight because you don't want your, your pipe cleaners to slide around. Make sure you twist over the inside ring again, and then go to the other side, do the exact same process. And then that is one completed section. So you're gonna put three pipe cleaners in each section. When you do every section, you end up with 12 pipe cleaners around the outside two, and six around the inside two. And that's um, how we do our pipe cleaners for a couple method. I'm going to lay that to the side. Now I got us started. I've already put our pipe cleaners in and started our mesh. I'll show you how I did everything up to this point and then I've left a section here for us to finish together. I am starting off with, um, this is like a really sheer but very beautiful pink and blue combined. And then I'm going to also rotate that with this real light green. And we're going to do that all the way around the base, just rotating the collars. Okay, I'm going to move the sign out of our way. Okay, and the last one I did was the pink and blue. Now, when I first designed this, I was only going to use the pink and blue for the entire base. But this is just too sheer. It would not have given us enough coverage and it would have been see-through. So that's why I decided to combine and rotate it with the green. Plus that brings in all three colors from our sign. Let's see if I can get comments again. Okay, and we're gonna need a clip. So we're gonna do crumple method. All of our pieces of mesh are 10 inches wide and we cut them 16 to 17 inches long. To do a crumple, we're just going to fold over the first edge, use our pinkies to hold the ends down, and roll it two, three, four times. If you've seen some of my other videos, this is a method that I use often. I like it because it folds under those cut edges and protects them from fraying. And then once you get your two curls on each end, just turn the two curls face down. 
you're going to scrunch right up the middle, little sections at a time to kind of ruffle it. Pinch the two sides together and take off your clip. It should look like that. And then we're going to lay it into our very next pipe cleaner with our finished edge to the outside and the inside. By laying our base mesh down this way, we're going to end up with an overall wreath that is 24 inches wide. Okay, and now we're rotating, so we need to do the pink and the blue. And this is really pretty, and it's a nice little pop of color around. It just wasn't, it's not thick enough um, to use on its own. I believe I got this pink and blue from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing again, a curl on this end. Put our clip or clothespin or whatever you're using on it, turn it away from you. Do the same thing on the other end. Turn the two curls face down and scrunch right up the middle. Pinch the two sides together. As you can see, it's real sheer. That's why I, I decided not to use it on its own on the base, and I put the I added the green. The green um, it came from BB Crafts, and it's I think it's around three fifty a roll now. I don't remember how much the pink and blue was. I bought that at Hobby Lobby last year, maybe even the year before last. Okay, so we've got one more pipe cleaner here. We have two pink and blue. We need to put a green in the middle. We're just going to re repeat the process, make another cruffle, curl our end, fold over four times to do that, turn it away from you, and curl your other end. Same process, four times. Turn those two curls face down. And scrunch right up the middle. Brian. Brian. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to get comments to load on the computer, so if anybody comments, can you let me know? We'll just tell Laura I said hello. Or Laura, hello. She can hear me, I reckon. I just can't see it. Go, go in there with your mommy, honey, until I get done. Okay, so once, the first thing I do is I do all 12 pieces of mesh on my frame first. And we're only working at this point on these outside 12 pipe cleaners. So when you're alternating this mesh, you're gonna only be doing it on this outside ring in those 12 pipe cleaners. So you're gonna need six pieces of the pink and blue and six of the green. Okay, and then once I get all 12 of those in, then I start working on my ribbon tails. And the ribbon that we're going to be using, I thought I left one uncut so that I could do it on here, but maybe not. Okay, so we're going to be using this first really cute happy camper. It says, RV there yet and happy camper. So it matches our sign really well. The color scheme, everything is the same. Even the designs of the campers on the ribbon is just like our sign. We're gonna match that with this light pink check. And then we're gonna also, cause the sign says Easter blessings at the top, we're gonna put this really pretty bunny rabbit ribbon it has, um, it's pink and green and blue bunnies, and then it has pink and green and blue flowers in the background as well as polka dots. So it's very pretty. This is a Dollar Tree ribbon. Um, it is one of the thinner ones that's hard to work with if you've watched some of my other videos. I'm using what I purchased previously, but with my knowledge now, I'm not gonna buy any more of this silky type Dollar Tree ribbon. You could find um, pretty ribbon patterns uh, or I'm sorry, rabbit patterns at craftoutlet.com um, and your quality is going to be much better. And then our final ribbon is going to be this blue and green plaid. Okay, so on the bottom, the first thing I did was six inch pieces. So you're going to need for the bottom row, you're going to need three 12 inch pieces of the check 
or plaid. Three 12 inch pieces of the pink and white check. And then you're going to need six of the camper and six of the bunny. And that's just for our bottom layer. These ribbons are all cut to 12 inches long and they're all dovetailed. To dovetail your ribbons, I can show you, even though I've already done these, you just fold it in half long ways, line up the ends, and cut from the folded side up at an angle towards the wire side. And then when you open, you end up with this pretty V shape. I know that's repetitive for some that have watched my videos before, but lots of times there's new people watching, so I wanna make sure that I give good instruction to them as well. Okay, to get my six inch pieces, I take my three plaid and also my three pink and white. I fold them in half, line up the ends, crease it down here at the bottom, and then I just cut right along that crease to cut them in half. And when you cut all three of these, you'll end up with six. And when you cut three of these, you'll end up with six. So that's what you'll need. And then first thing I do is put in my six inch pieces. And to do that, I just rotate them around the bottom. And I decided to put the pink over top of the green mesh and the blue plaid over top of the pink and blue mesh to give contrast. So we did that, I did that all the way around. The pink, the plaid, the pink, the plaid. So now we're back to a pink. Okay, to add your six inch pieces, you're just gonna lay it straight down on the table in front of you. You're gonna leave the cut edge that you just cut straight. You're not gonna dovetail that because you're gonna scrunch right along that straight edge. Pinch it between your fingers, just like that. And then you're gonna lay it in your pipe cleaner so the, the dovetail is on the outside of the wreath design and that your piece of ribbon is coming straight out the middle of the piece of mesh that you're laying it on top of. And then just fluff up your ribbon, kind of give it a little arch, curl the ends, and then we're back to the plaid. Scrunch on the flat edge, pinch the two sides together, place it in. And this process that you see me doing is the exact process that I did on the part that I had done before we went live. Um, I do that so that it doesn't take up so much time on the video with the repetitiveness. So now we need a pink and white. Okay. And now we need a plaid. And this will be our last one. And at this point, we will have all of our six inch pieces in our design. Okay, so now we're ready to put in our six pieces of 12 inch bunny and our six pieces of 12 inch our, um, camper ribbon. The way that we're gonna do those is we're gonna V them right over top of the six inch pieces like I did here. So here's the blue and green plaid. I put the bunny over that. Here's the pink and white check and I put the camper over that. So here we're back to the plaid. So we need to do the bunny again. To do the 12 inch pieces, you just lay it in front of you and this time you're gonna scrunch right down the middle of the ribbon. V it back towards yourself and line up your ends. And you can see this ribbon kind of tries to curl up. That's why I said, I'm never gonna buy it again. And I highly recommend that you do not buy this from the Dollar Tree. The designs are beautiful, um, but the quality is, is, it's just way too thin. You can't get it to lay the way you want to. It will still look nice and add some nice color to your wreath, um, but it's not gonna do what I like for my ribbons to do. It's just the material's not heavy enough. Okay. And then we're over the pink and white, we're doing the RV, so same process, scrunch down the middle, V it back towards ourselves, make sure our ends are lined up. 
and then we just place it straight over so it V's around the six inch piece we put in. That way we can see all of our ribbon tails. We're not gonna put anything else in these, so I'm gonna go ahead and clip these pipe cleaners off. Push the end of the pipe cleaner down and squeeze it. Same on this one. Okay, so now we need to do the bunny again. I'm going to adjust my ribbon, it kind of got twisted. Be it back towards ourselves and just place it in the same way, being over top of that six inch piece. So that way you can see you end up with three six inch tails and you can see all of them. Remember that we're still only working on these 12 pipe cleaners on the outside. We have not done anything with the inside ones yet. is going to be this bunny pattern. And I'm, when I'm putting it in the pipe cleaner, I, I twist my pipe cleaner about three or four times. like so far. We're ready to pull our pipe cleaners from the inside out here to the outside so we can start working on those. So we're just going to reach in between our mesh and pull these out. Oops. Make sure we go between the right pieces of mesh so that we're pulling them straight out. the outside. I'm going to do something a little different tonight than what I usually do. I usually do my second layer of mesh and my second layer of ribbon before I attach my sign, but tonight I'm going to attach my sign now. Um, mix it up. Okay, so this is um, a wood sign that I got last year, I think, um, and it's rather thick wood. It's not the typical MDF board that you see like at the Dollar Tree and stuff. So I'm not able to use my hole punch, my metal hole punch on this, it's too thick. And I don't like to drill holes in my signs because oftentimes you end up damaging your sign. So what I did to attach my pipe cleaner so I could attach it to the frame is I put a big glob of E6000 glue, then I fold a pipe cleaner in half and put the, the folded piece of it inside of that glue and then I squirt a big gob of hot glue over top of that and use some type of fabric or ribbon piece or just any scrap ribbon or anything you have and press that down over that really well. Uh, make sure um, they have these at the Dollar Tree. When you do this, that glue is going to be very hot. So these finger tip protectors are really helpful for being able to push that down and get it to secure real good. And then the E6000 takes 24 hours to fully set up. So make sure you do it far enough in advance to give yourself time. I have done these and then attached them an hour later and they're sturdy, they hold real well, um, but it doesn't set up fully for 24 hours, okay? So we're gonna just turn our sign over here, put it in the middle. I'm gonna take my pipe cleaners down through the mesh to the, um, wire frame 
I'm going to wrap my pipe cleaner around two of the rings on the wire frame. And then I'm just going to twist it several times. I usually do about 10 times. And then I'm going to wrap the end of that pipe cleaner around the wire and push the pointed part up to the inside. That way we don't have any sharp edges on the back of our wreath. <clears throat> and just, you know, when you're going to your other side to work, make sure you're centered and lined up where you want it to be. And I'm not pulling down real tight on the sign. We're already going to be putting a layer of mesh and a layer of ribbon around this on top of this. So I don't want to pull this real tight and sink it clear to the bottom. So I'm just let, letting it float there. The mesh will help hold it in place. And then we're twisting this pipe cleaner a bunch of times so our sign's not going to come loose. The mesh will keep it from sliding. got our sign on there. Now I'm going to start working on our next layer. For our next layer of mesh, we're going to use this really pretty, it's like a window pane um, mesh that is in spring colors. It's got pink, blue, like a light green, um, and metallic. It's very shiny, very beautiful for spring, and it matches our sign and our design very well. So I'm going to use six of these, also cut 16 to 17 inches long, and I'm going to put them one in each of these pipe cleaners we just pulled to the outside. We're going to use the same method. We're going to cruffle them. So we'll just fold over, do our curl, put our clip, turn it away from us, same thing. And this is why I do try to have some of the wreath base done before I go live is because a lot of it is repetition and I don't want to waste everybody's time. So that's why I do a lot of it off camera. Okay, so we got to do five more of these. One of the reasons I wanted to go ahead and put the sign in is because this is really sheer. You'll be able to see through it to all of the ribbons and stuff underneath. And I just wanted um, to frame, lay these in and frame them around our sign. sure when you're placing the next one in, pull this one up and out. You don't want to mash it down underneath. Also, when you're applying this top layer of mesh, don't pull this too tight or you'll sink your mesh all the way to the base of your frame. And the idea is that we're building up our design and we'll end up with a five to six inch thick wreath at the end. With using this mesh, it's probably going to be more around five inches. The thicker your mesh is, the higher you know your design will be.
look pretty. This is what it looks like when you make your purple with this mesh. You can see it's kind of see-through, but it's a very beautiful pop-up collar. And since it has all of the colors from our design incorporated into it, it kind of just ties it all together. One more. ready to do our last layer of ribbons on the top which will finish off our design. For our top layer you're going to use the same four ribbons. They're going to all be cut to 12 inches long and we're going to pair them the same way we did on the bottom. So the rabbit will be with the plaid and the camper will be with the pink and you're going to leave all of these 12 inches long so you'll need three of each of your four for your top layer. Cut to 12 inches long, dovetailed on both ends. And then I'll start here with the pink and the RV. For my top layer, I do those a little differently. Instead of being them back towards me, I lay them in a crisscross pattern and make an X. And then I just scrunch up the middle, pinch the two sides together. So I have kind of like what looks like an X in my hand. And then place that straight down in the pipe cleaner. Give it three or four twists. We're not adding anything else to this pipe cleaner, so we'll go ahead and flip it off. Push it down inside. We fluff out our ribbons, just like we did on the bottom. And then we're gonna rotate the pattern, so now we need the plaid and the bunny. Oh, I forgot to push my pipe cleaner down. Okay, that's cute. So that's what it's looking like so far. We're just going to keep rotating all the way around. Pink and green. together looking really cute. Sometimes that mesh will get caught to your ribbon, so you just gotta be careful and separate them gently.
know what I was doing. I'm going to show you. See, this is what that Dollar Tree ribbon does. And it is, it's very hard. I mean, I have it so that it's laying really nicely on the design and it looks good, but it is very hard to work with and to get it to lay that way. That's why I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. It's, it's really sad to me though, because I do love the design of it. I also have some in a blue truck design that I had bought, which is also absolutely adorable. And it was the exact color of blue I needed. I was so happy. And then it's this real thin material. So it's disappointing, but it's okay. Okay, so this is what we have. This is our cute little camper with all of our ribbon tails and our mesh. Sparkly, shiny, very springy. Um, let's see. I had a couple eggs here. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them. They might be too big. Yeah, I think they're too big. We kind of overwhelmed the wreath. So yeah, I'm not going to use those. I think I'm just going to leave it like it is. I really like it. It's got a lot of full color. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you guys watch this on replay, please be sure to comment hashtag replay to let me know. And uh, if you like my videos and would like to see more of them, if they're helpful to you, um, please follow my page on Facebook and share my videos and on YouTube if you um, just subscribe that will um, cause you to be alerted when I upload videos and if you hit the little bell it will notify you every time I upload a video and if you don't want to subscribe that's okay if you would just like the video that is very helpful also and I really do appreciate your all's assistance and I hope that you have a wonderful evening and I'll see you again real soon.